Welcome to the Talk Like a Leader podcast, where we explore the mindset, skill set, and habit set of leadership communication. Using these tips, techniques, and tactics, you'll be able to talk like a leader to build better relationships and get more done. Your host is Guy Harris, who has more than 20 years of combined professional and military experience in consulting, coaching, and training in areas like team and interaction dynamics, communication strategies and tactics, as well as emotional intelligence. Take it away, Guy. Hi, this is Guy Harris. Welcome to Talk Like a Leader. This week's episode is titled Faith or Fear. And I have with me today one of my really good friend, colleague, collaborator. We've been working together off and on for more than a few years, I guess it's fair to say. <laughs> uh, somebody, if you've listened to very many Talk Like Leader episodes, you've probably heard before. It's my friend and colleague, Carl Smith. Welcome, Carl. It's great seeing you, Guy. It's been way too long. It's good to, good to be with you again, man, and, and uh, excited to, to share some perspectives with you, and hopefully people will get something from it's like a conversation from us. So I'm going to make a proposition as a you know, proposal for a key principle in order to learn how to talk like a leader, and I'm going to just kind of let you run with my proposal, and we'll just kick, kick it back and forth, okay? So my okay. proposal is that as we communicate with others, as we move forward in our, in our leadership journey, when we think about how to resolve a conflict with people, when we think about how to coach a person on some kind of performance-related issue, as we look, even delegating tasks or um, helping people on our team do any of these things that we're talking about, resolve conflicts or share ideas or persuade people or, or implement change, this wide-ranging things we have to do in our leadership communication role, I propose that in every one of those situations, we can make a choice between a fear-based communication pattern or a faith-based communication pattern. And, and I'll, I'll say just, you know, complete clarity, Carl and I both happen to be Christians, and that is our perspective, although I think this is a bigger issue than just a religious issue. That's not the idea we're talking about today. We're talking about a communication choice, not a personal life choice. So let's let's be clear that we're not talking about your religious faith. We're talking about the the faith in the process or the faith in the outcome. If you'll just choose the 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 better principles for communication. So I think a fear based decision or a faith based decision is what I propose is the the kind of thing we face in, in leadership communication. And when I say that, Carl, I'd like to hear what kind of thought that triggers for you when I say you can make a faith-based or a fear-based decision as you communicate with other people. Sure. Well, one, thank you for allowing me to, to have this time with you. And, and some of you may not know this. Some of you may. Some of you may not. So Guy has been my coach and mentor. I'm going to date us for, for decades. <laughs> decades. Plural. Plural. And so yeah. um, I've, I've been very fortunate to be able to coach um, some very influential people uh, over the years. Uh, and what's interesting is, so one of the principles that we are going to be talking about is faith versus fear. And I like to even say, I got this from one of the folks that I coach. And he even said to me uh, quite a while back, he said, Carl, faith fights fear. I'm like, that is good. It's so true. That's a good point. And, yeah. here's, and, and here's the point in sharing this. So much of effective communication is based on mindset. Mm -hmm. So if I have the mind, the right mindset, the right mindset to look at people the, the best in the best light, the mindset to have high levels of trust, the mindset to uh, think the best of them first there's a better chance or better probability that we'll have effective communication, an effective outcome, effective um, solution. And so one of the things that my dear friend Guy Harris, Coach Guy Harris, shared with me uh, quite some time ago is this principle of what confidence is. And what's ironic is so many people, especially in leadership, have said, so how do I communicate in a way that I, I'm more confident? And I said, what confidence is, is a mindset. Mm -hmm. Confidence is this. If you take literally the word in, from a Latin person, it's a Latin word, 
Con means with. Mm-hmm. Fidance means faith, belief, or trust. So if I have confidence, not just on, with myself, but confidence who I'm communicating with. Confidence, confidence in the other I person t- and trust in the other person. Yeah. Yes. There's a better probability for a better outcome if mm-hmm. I have that mindset. And so much of this is wrapped around effective communication. So, so much of it. So if a faith-based decision is a, a decision or an approach or a communication strategy that's related to our faith in uh, our integrity and the other person and our and, and the principles we're using to communicate our faith, that the process is going to work out okay. What would a fear-based communication strategy look like? Oh, so what a fear. So I, let me give you some examples of fear-based behavior and communication. Sure. Fear-based, and so I'm going to quote Tom Ziegler, and Tom Ziegler said said set this to me personally. That would be Zig Ziegler's son? Correct. Yes. Thank you. And so Tom Ziegler said this to me. He said, when a person makes a decision based on fear, typically it's going to be a bad decision. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> so, so fear, so the thing that, that strikes me as you say that, and see if this if this clicks okay with you that mm-hmm. fear is maybe it's fear of physical harm maybe that's true and hopefully that's not what we're talking about when we talk about leadership communication and talking with our teams and business and all that kind of stuff right i'm thinking as you say that the fear is based about um i'm communicating out of the fear that i'm going to look bad or i'm communicating out of the fear that this person's not going to cooperate with me, or I'm communicating out of the fear that this isn't going to go the way I want it to go, mm-hmm. or I'm communicating out of the fear that this isn't going to turn out well. I mean, and we could probably keep going and going. Yep. And, and when I hear those things, I, I think those fear-based things are, there are concerns that somehow I'm going to be harmed if I don't manipulate this or maneuver it or try to steer it in a way I want it. Yes. Rather than just having faith in if, if I engage with Carl in a straightforward, trusting and honest way, I am, I can't control how Carl responds. I can have the mindset that I believe Carl is an honorable and trustworthy person. And he will probably respond in an honorable and trustworthy way if I'll treat him that way. Yes. So I have the faith that it will be reciprocated. I have the faith that I'm using good principles and good approaches. Yes. And I just trust that it's going to turn out okay. Yes. And so one of the things that you are saying so well that you, it's just who you are. It's being intentional. The intentionality piece, yeah. Being intentional that I am doing things with integrity. It's me having the right intentions mm-hmm. for a beneficial solution or resolution or uh, way of connecting. I think the best, when Guy and I talk, communicate and talk, it's thinking the best of Guy. It's having this, this serving mindset versus it's all about me it's really all about we. Mm-hmm. It's about us. How do I communicate in a way that shows that we are partners, that we're friends, that we collaborate together for a mutually beneficial solution? You know, well, so as we're saying this, one of the things I can, I can almost hear the critic's voice. Yeah, but guy. Yeah, but Carl. <laughs> what about the person who takes advantage of that? What about, you're saying Guy and Carl, we're both saying the same thing. What if the person you're engaging with doesn't have integrity or doesn't have good intentions? What if, what if you proceed in that fashion and they take advantage of you? And I'll tell you what my answer is. I'm going to hear what you think about that. Uh, my thought is, first of all, I can't control what they do to start with, so why am I worried about it? Um, and secondly, I can set boundaries on what I'm willing to allow this person to do to me. I can say this is how far I will go. I will treat you with respect. And if I'm not treated with respect, well, then I'll deal with that as it comes up, mm-hmm. as opposed to assuming they're not going to be respectful or assuming they're not trustworthy or assuming that they're not going to cooperate. 
So I'm just going to do the right thing to the best of my ability. And I'm a human being, I'm going to fail, right? Um, but I'll have the faith that if I move forward on that, on that path, it will more times than not turn out okay. Mm-hmm. And I, I have the belief, I, I think we share this belief, I would rather have the faith-based decision with the 90 or 95% of people I can trust and treat them in a good way and deal with the special cases when they show up rather than create my whole belief system, which is a fear-based decision. I'm going to be taken advantage of. They're going to get one over on me. I'm not going to get my way. I would rather, I would rather deal with those when they come up than assume everybody is that far minority of the population. Right. How does that resonate with you when I say that? Absolutely. And, and so what's interesting is, again, faith is a belief. And I believe that if you treat a person with integrity, character, honor, respect, dignity, what they have coming to them is going to happen, is going to come to them. I mean, nine times out of 10, those that are just all about me, myself, and I. It'll come back around. <laughs> it comes back around. They come out. So there's a formula guy and I were actually talking about just a oh, yeah. few minutes ago yeah, before we get into that. The so, and, and this is to help each and every one of you. And this is helping me. It's helped me and it's helping me to navigate life. It's this formula I over E or E over I. So I over E will set you free. So what is I over E? I is doing things with integrity, uh, doing things based on intellect. Uh, intuition. So meaning you're, you're thinking, not your feeling. Yes. Yeah. So the E, thank you. The E is emotion mm-hmm. or the E is ego. So I doing things with integrity over emotion or ego will set me free. I over E set you free. E over I, on the other hand, will make me lie. So if I focus on just emotions, just, and, and, oh, and, and I focus on just me, myself, and I with ego over intellect. If I put emotion and ego first, it's going to make me lie. E over I will make you lie. And here's the thing. Not only do I lie to others, I lie to myself. And it winds up being a fear-based communication, behavior, which typically leads to a lot worse results than if I had integrity in the first place. So the, as you're saying that, Carl, this, this is the thing that strikes me. So we started with the faith versus fear, and, and, and you know, we've evolved into this I over E, E over I formula. Um, that if, that what, I, what I'm sensing is that like fear is an emotion, mm-hmm. whereas faith is a choice. Faith isn't an emotion. Yep. I mean, I, my experience is that when I move in faith, I do experience emotions, but the faith itself is not an emotion. It's just a choice, which is mm-hmm. intellect. Mm-hmm over emotions so so we're we're coming up on our time limit so i'm gonna have to say man it's good to talk with you carl and we could probably keep going for a while and we have in the past in our conversations over dinner or uh at a break in training or something we, we can get going but in the interest of of wrapping up our session i'm gonna wrap it up and say thank you carl for being with me today and for exploring some ideas in a in a relatively brief fashion to share some ideas. So thank you for that, Carl. I appreciate it. Absolutely. And the, the one thing I'm going to leave you with as a listener is you know, remember the, the statement Carl made, the formula that he shared, the E over I will tell you a lie and I over E will set you free. So E being emotions or ego and I being integrity or intellect or thinking. Uh, remember that. And remember this idea of faith versus fear. As you engage with people, as you make your decisions about how to communicate, how to coach, how to resolve conflicts, all the different types of situations you face as a leader, remember to choose faith over fear in your communication strategy, and you can talk like a leader. This has been the Talk Like a Leader podcast. You can listen to this show every week wherever you get your podcast. If you haven't, Be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. I'm Guy Harris, and thanks for listening.